Dear students, uh, in this session, I will come up, we will discuss one more topic. The topic name is seating arrangement. Okay. So, regarding the seating arrangement, we will discuss 3-4 concepts. Then, we will start the problems. How, what type of problems may I ask in this? Okay. And different types also we will discuss. So, before going to start the problems, uh, just okay, have an idea about 1-2 minutes. 1-2 minutes about that uh, seating arrangement. What, is, what actually seating arrangement is? Seating arrangement is actually three types, mainly three types, not actually, so mainly three types. One is linear arrangement, next one is circular arrangement and the third one is miscellaneous arrangement, we can say. There are only mainly three types. Type 1 is linear arrangement and type 2 is circular arrangement. This circular arrangement includes hexagon, pentagon like this octagon also will be comes under circular arrangements because it is a closed figure. For example, 10 members are sitting around a circular table or else, uh, or else let's say 6 members are sitting around the hexagonal table. By the way, what does it mean? So, it is also kind of circle concept. That's why these sitting arrangements are seating arrangements same. So, this is mainly three types. Type 1 is linear arrangement and type 2 is circular arrangement. Type 3 is miscellaneous arrangement or what you can say polygonal arrangement. Bahubuja kararalu amarcharam vanta. Okay. So, every question is having some what we can say conditions. Every question is having some conditions. By using these conditions, we have to arrange the given objects. Okay. Objects may be uh, 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 and so on. Okay. Question is having certain conditions. By using each and every condition, we have to arrange the given objects. So, again these two conditions, these conditions are again two types. In the given question, some conditions are direct conditions and some conditions are indirect conditions. So, first we have to identify the direct condition in the given question. First we have to consider direct condition and we will call by using the direct conditions, we have to arrange the given objects and finally by using this direct, direct condition concepts, we have to, what you can say, arrange the indirect condition concepts also. So, after this arrangement, you need to have a, what we can say, you need to have a idea about the positions of the given object. So, let us say for example, A, B, C, D, E, F are six friends. They are standing in a line for a photograph. So, he given some conditions. A is not to be, B is sitting in between E and F and so on, some conditions will be given. So, after using these conditions, we have to arrange all those six members from A to F. After that arrangement, uh, what you can say, you need to have an idea about their positions. A is there in between home or B is there in between home or left of B is, who is left of B or who is right of B or who is left of, who is uh, third from left of C or who is fourth from right of R and uh, from F and so on. Okay. So, direct condition, indirect condition, by using these two conditions, we have to arrange the given objects either in a line or circular or polygonal etc. After that arrangement, what you can say, you need to have a positions, you need to have a objects positions. Then some questions will be given, one or two, three, four questions. So, by using that arrangement, uh, we can able to, we can able to solve the given questions very easily. Okay. Let us start by taking one by one. Now, we will take one question based on linear arrangement. Then a line lo, a varsa kramam lo, amar chara manta. A question alam zudam oksari. Question is based on linear arrangement. So, question follows like this. So, what he mentioned here? A, P, R, X, S and Z. So, what happened? They are sitting in a row. So, clearly mentioned. They are sitting in a row. He given some conditions. S and Z are in center. Right? S and Z are in center. Total how many objects he given? Total he given 6 objects. So, you have to take all possible ways. You should not predict. Okay? How many possibilities are there? You have to take all the possibilities. So, for example, here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And next case is, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, what is the first condition? S and Z are in center. If you will observe here, the first condition is S and Z are in center. So, S and Z are in center means here S is there and here will come, Z will come or else. So, if here Z is there, here will come, S will come. Both are possible because in both the cases, S and Z are exactly 
in the center only right s and z are sitting in a center and the next one next what he mentioned here a and p are at the ends a and p are at the ends what does it mean so if for example here a is there here who will come p will come or else if here p is there here who will come a will come so same thing can applicable for this also okay there is no issue you should not take anyone here s and z may come or z and s may come here a and p may come or p and a may come same a and p or p and a okay we will take next condition next condition is what here the next condition is r is sitting to the left of a see the given condition r is sitting to the left of a for example if i am taking a here for example assume that a is sitting here if a is sitting here r must be to the left of a r must be to the left of a but if r is if for example if a is sitting here is it possible to arrange r to the left of a it is not possible that's why simply what we can say here a should not be there if a should not be there means here p should not be there so what does it mean here p is sitting here a is sitting same here also p is sitting a is sitting and one more condition given what is the given condition r is sitting to the left of a r is sitting to the left of a so a ki left side lo r unnadu annadu so kabatti here r is there and here also what is there r is there it's clear r is sitting to the left of a see if this is the positions of p r a s z this must be whose position x position only one object left that is x there is the arrangement here s and z you may get z and s you may get now we'll go to the given question what is the given question the given question is who is to the right of p right who is to the right of p the given question is who is to the right of p cheppandi ga p ku right lo unnadi in both the cases either s and z or z and s in both the cases who is sitting to the right of p therefore the answer is x x is sitting to the right of p therefore by using like this conditions some conditions will be direct some conditions will be indirect first you have to take direct conditions then indirect conditions so then we have to find out the answer for the given questions okay now we'll take one more question just now we have seen one question based on linear arrangement we'll take one more question based on that concept okay so now see the question is follows a comma b comma c comma d and e are sitting on a bench a b c d e are sitting on a bench there are five members right so it's clear our uh, next what he mentioned here a is sitting next to b annadu see there are conditions a is sitting next to b there are total five members 1 2 3 4 5 there are five students a b c d and e so these a b c d e are sitting on a bench how they are sitting a is sitting next to b here a is sitting next to b means there are two conditions for example acha we will discuss what is direct condition and what is indirect here so first is a is sitting next to b next what he mentioned here c is sitting next to d a is sitting next to b c is sitting next to d so these two are the indirect conditions only okay now we will go to third one d is not sitting with e that is also indirect condition d is not sitting with e and the next what is mentioned here who is who is to the left end of the bench yes that is i am getting direct condition what is the direct condition all here d is not sitting with e d is not sitting with e who is to the left end of the bench what does it mean so here who means uh, he is talking about e it's very clear okay i repeat the question d is not sitting with e d is not sitting with e who is to the left end of the bench here who means e so here this is left end of the bench and this is right end of the bench from that question it is clear that e is sitting to the left end of the bench okay so now further we'll discuss next direct conditions and the next what i mentioned here c is on the second position from the right c is on the second position from the right yes so here right is there so here c is on the second position from the right i hope you understood this concept also okay first i have, I have taken two direct conditions one direct condition is d is not sitting with e who is to the left end of the bench so who means here e e is to the left end of the bench and the next one is 
next direct condition is C is to the second position from the right end. So it's clear. Next further what he mentioned A is to the right of B. A is to the right of B and E. A is to the right of B and E. And uh, A and C are sitting together. See that is also one beautiful concept. A and C are sitting together means I know the position of C. So here A may be sit or here A may sit. In both the cases what you can say? So this position is for A and this position also for A. We can't say. In both the cases A is sitting with whom? A is sitting with A only. And next what you mentioned here but uh, C is uh, sitting next to 2D. Yes, C is sitting next to D. In the second line we are having C is sitting next to 2D. C is sitting next to 2B means for example if I am taking A here, if I am taking A here, here we will come, here D will come because D is sitting next to 2C or else if I am taking A here, here we will come, A will come. Okay, here I am taking A, here D will come or if I am taking D here, A will come here. Okay, so now uh, see for our convenience, for our verification, I am taking D here. Okay, we will see, I am taking D here. Next we will go to remaining conditions, remaining conditions are indirect conditions. What he given, uh, A is sitting next to 2B, A is sitting next to 2B. For example, if I will take A here, is it possible to fill the B? Yes, B, B may be here. But are they sitting together? No. That's why D should be at end of the bench. Okay. B should be at end of, end of the bench. Now, A is sitting next to B. So, here, here A, you may get A. Or if you will get A here, you will get B here. Or if you will get B here, you may get A here. Okay. We will discuss one more condition. For example, I as you, I am taking A and B. We will we'll discuss whether it is true or not. Okay. So now next indirect condition what he mentioned here. C is sitting next to 2D. C is sitting next to D. Means they are sitting together. And uh, D is not sitting with E. See observe here. D is not sitting with A. Okay. It's clear. And uh, uh, O is on the left end of the bench. C is on the second position from the right. C is on the second position from the right. Finally, in the given question, finally, observe last sentence here. Last sentence, what he mentioned? A is to the right of B and E. A is to the right of B and E. That is very important. A is to the right of B and E. A and A what do B ki E ki right loan nanta. So, I will so if I will take this condition, here A, is it right of B or left of B? Left of B. But what you have to get? Right of B you have to get. So that's why instead of taking A, B, I am taking simply B, A. Therefore, E, B, A, C, D is the given arrangement. E, B, A, E, B, A, C, D is the given condition. Now, what is actually question? What we need to find? We need to find here in which position A is sitting. In which position A is sitting. That is a given question. So for that it depends on the options. There are no options are available on the screen for that question. But what is the position of A? Or else in which position A is sitting means first we can say right of B we can say. Or we can say left of C we can left of C we can say. Or in between B and C we can say. It depends on the given options. Okay. The question is what? The given question is in which position A is sitting? In which position A is sitting? So either A is sitting left of C or A is sitting right of B or A is sitting in between B and C and so on. So it depends on the given options. Hence there is no options that are available here. We will take A sits. Our answer is A sits between B and C. A sits between B and C we can say. Okay. I hope you understood this model. We will discuss next question. Okay. So just now we have seen two questions based on linear arrangement. Okay, here uh, in starting I told you arrangements are three types, right? So one is linear arrangement, next one is circular arrangement and third one is miscellaneous arrangement or what we can say a polygonal arrangement. Okay, now uh, I, need to find, I need to say the difference between linear arrangement and circular arrangement because next question if you observe here that is based on circular arrangement. Okay, so before going to start the question one small point regarding circular arrangement. Okay, now uh, if you will take linear arrangement in linear arrangement uh, we can say the starting position we can say the ending position or we can say the exactly middle position in that line. For example, 5 members are there A, B, C, D, E. 
A, B, C, D. They are standing on a Q or standing on a line. Then, then we can say the first person from left or we can say the first person from right or we can say the exactly middle person and so on. So, if it is a linear arrangement, then we can say the starting position and ending position of the given objects. But unfortunately or even fortunately, if it is circular arrangement, there is no starting point and there is no ending point because circle is there, it's a closed figure, it's a closed diagram. So, in that closed diagram, whatever the closed diagram, if it is circle, not only circle, if you will take hexagonal, if you will take octagon, if you will take decagon or if you will take any other thing. So, polygonal, polygonal if you will take. So, whatever. So, since these all are closed figures, there is no starting point and there is no ending point. So, the advantage with that is, uh, I, I told you already, there are two conditions. One is direct condition and the next one is indirect condition. First, we have to take the direct conditions or simply we have to arrange the direct conditions. When we are going to arrange the direct conditions, starting point you can take anywhere on the circle. Wherever you will take, there is no change in the final answer because circle means if you will rotate that circle, we will get the same different different positions. For example, I arrange it in one particular order. I am rotating, I am keep on rotating. What will get? You will get the different different positions. But however, there is no change in the given question. Okay. So, the main difference between linear and circular arrangement is in linear, uh, there is a starting position, ending position, middle position, etc, etc. But whereas in circular arrangement, there is no starting point, there is no ending point. First, we have to arrange one object or first we have to fix one object. With respect to this object, we have to fix the remaining all the objects. First, we have to fix one object. With respect to this, we have to fix remaining all the objects. Then we can able to solve very easily. Okay. Now, let us solve by taking that question. Okay. And one more thing here, in circular arrangement, until unless he mentioned the question, even though he didn't given, think that all the objects are facing towards center. Sometimes in the question, he may give, he may not give. Okay. So, question is what aim is given, as I mentioned, the concept is very clear. So, in circular arrangement, until unless he mentioned, Chepan and Tavaraki, Ela Bavista Monte, Anni objects Koda, Rutam Yoka Kendra Vipu Mukam Chesuna and Bavista. Think that all the objects are facing towards center. Andaru, for example, it's a thing that uh, I'll say when uh, we went for a restaurant for having a dinner. Uh, it's a, uh, it, the table is in round shape. Now, how we'll sit? We'll, we'll sit, all of them are facing towards the center. So, same way. We have to think in that way. Okay. Now, by keeping these two concepts in mind, uh, we will start that question. Okay. The question is about uh, circular arrangement. Total how many are there? P, 2, W. P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. There are 8 persons. So, P, Q, R, S, T, uh, U and uh, W are sitting around the circle facing the center. So, fortunately given, even though it didn't given, so, the meaning is same. They are facing towards the center only. Okay. And there are conditions. He given total four conditions. Total how many are there? Eight objects are there. That's why uh, whenever he mentioned eight objects, the eight objects can be taken as follows. The eight objects can be taken as follows. See, the objects are uh, follows like this. Okay. Anyhow, some questions will be given. We will take some questions also. Okay. So, like uh, in previous session, uh, in pre, uh, previous sessions, we have seen one topic called directions. How we will take eight directions? We are indicating the same way. For example, north and this is south, this is east, this is west, this is northeast, this is southeast, this is southwest and this is northwest. Okay. In that way, we need to arrange all eight objects. So, six means we will take in different way. Okay. Three on top, three on bottom in that way. Okay. Now, see, we will go to first condition and we will identify the direct condition and indirect condition. What is the given first condition? First condition as follows. See, what is it? P is second to the right of T. I am reading only half of the first, first condition. P is second to the right of T. P is second to the right of T. What does it mean? To whom I have to fix now? P or T. P is second to the right of T means... First, I have to fix the T. Take anywhere. You can take here, 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 here. No, no issue. Wherever you will take T, there is no change in the final answer. Okay. But I am taking T here. Let's say this is my T. 
now what is the condition right condition it is p is second to the right of t we know already all of them are facing towards the center so now t is towards center so right from second so this position is whose position p's position p is to the right of second right of t and p is to the second right of t and uh, one more condition who is the neighbor of r and v who means who is here t remember here okay i repeat that first condition once again what is the first condition here the given first condition is p is to the p is to the second right of t who is the neighbor of r and v who is the neighbor of r and v what does it mean t is neighbor of r and v so t ane vaadu r ki v ki neighbor ga unnadu alantappudu so ikkada r unte ikkada evaru undali v undali we don't know or else if you will get v here or if you will get r here that we go we don't know okay now we will discuss some other conditions next condition condition number 2 so what is the given condition here uh, s is not the neighbor of p s is not the neighbor of p one thing is clear s is not the neighbor of p means s you should not get here right s you should not get here you may get the s here or here or here no issue but s is not the neighbor of p s ane vaadu p pakkana koochorata so s ane vaadu p pakkana koochunnappudu so s is having three other positions okay we will discuss some other conditions so next condition is what next condition is about uh, what he mentioned here um, v is the neighbor of u see v is the neighbor of u for example if i am taking v here is it possible to take u here or here no but the condition is what v u is the or v is the neighbor of u since v is the neighbor of u then so here is this position must be whose position r's position if this is r position this is whose position v's position because t is the neighbor of r and v from the first condition okay and uh, from this fourth condition or from this third condition sorry v is the neighbor of u so now this position is whose position use position because u is the neighbor of b they must be adjacent to each other i hope you understood uh, up to this next uh, remaining three other blanks are there one thing is clear from condition number 2 what he mentioned here s is not the neighbor of p so here who should not sit here s should not sit so to for s we are having two other positions okay now uh, we will fill remaining three objects remaining three persons what is the given fourth condition q is not between s and w q is not between s and w for example think that here i am taking q if i am taking q here s is there w is there but what does it mean so here see here this is s assumption it's assumption verification this is s this is q this is w what does it mean q is between s and w but what he mentioned here q is not between s and w so q is not between s and w means here who who will sit here q you may sit so and this is who is sitting here s is sitting and uh, if s q here will come w will come because q is not between s and w but w may be in between s and q it may possible and uh, uh, one more condition what is the condition w is not between u and s w is not between u and s so fortunately w is it between u and s no w is not between u and s hence this is the final arrangement these are the eight objects all these objects are facing towards the center okay so now based on this arrangement he given some questions now let us see the questions part okay see the questions are appearing on the board screen uh, what is the first first question here the first first question follows like this who is immediate left of v first question answer who is immediate left of v so here v is there he is facing towards center right is t left is u is sitting u is sitting therefore who is a immediate left of v u is the immediate left of v that is first question so now question number 2 second question what he given uh, s sits in between whom right s sits in between whom for example here s is there uh, s sits in between whom means uh, what you can say u and w u and w s sits in between u and w the answer for the second question is what you can say u and w now we will go to third question what is the third question uh, see observe here uh, in clockwise direction see in clockwise direction uh, how many uh, are there in between v and q how many are there in between v and q see here v is there 
in q is there in which direction clockwise direction so we know already clockwise direction how the uh, hands will rotate in a clock so clockwise direction lo the savya disha lo savya disha lo v ki q ki madhyala entha mandu unnaru onnadu so in between v and q how many are there u is there s is there w is there hence in clockwise direction in between v and q how many are there three are there who are they u s w see unfortunately for this question even in anti clockwise also how many are there three are there see here v is there q is there if you will take in anti anti clockwise in reverse concept in anti clock also how many are getting three we are getting but for see uh, for this question clockwise or anti clockwise in both the case we are getting three only but i mentioned clockwise who are they u s w now uh, final question in this <coughs> arrangement so what is the final question who is immediate right of r who is immediate right of r so it's clear tell me who is immediate right of r then the answer is p p is immediate right of r so like this uh, this is about a circular arrangement okay some for some questions multiple arrangements also possible remember for some questions multiple arrangements also possible uh, at that time it depends on the given options sometimes arrangements are depends on the given options okay if in the given question there is no none of this then uh, we have to think in different different way first of all when you are going to arrange circle arrangement remember first direct conditions then indirect conditions accordingly you have to follow the questions i hope you understood this question we will discuss next one so now just now we have seen one question uh, based on circular arrangement now we will discuss one more question based on circular arrangement see observe the question uh, in previous question there are eight members in question in this question also we are having total how many members eight members from j to q given okay let us read the question what is the given question eight executives j k l m n o p and q eight executives j k l m n o p and q are sitting around a circle table for a meeting see here also total eight members are there who are they j q k l m n o p q these are the eight executives who are they j k l m n o p and q these are the eight executives uh see whenever you mentioned eight executives i told you just now uh, you should take in what you can say this uh, order directions concept order eight directions how will take like that so north south east west north east south east south west north west in that way okay again he given some conditions based on the given conditions we need to arrange the given eight objects so let us focus on first one first one what he given eight objects are around for a meeting see first condition j is second to the right of p just read the condition j is second to the right of p to whom i need to arrange you no know, first j is to the rls j is second to the right of p i need to arrange first p take wherever you can take here 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 wherever wherever you can arrange first object there is no change in that with respect to this fixed object we have to arrange the remaining all the objects okay because if i am rotating this table i am getting different different positions that's why we can take any point as starting point that is the advantage in circular arrangement now i arranged or else i fixed object to p person p now what he mentioned here j is second see what he mentioned here j is second to the right of p for this right of p who is sitting j is sitting here this position is j's position because j is sitting to the right of p we know already so now uh, next question next question is what j is sitting to the right of p who is third to the right of k who is third to the right of k what does it mean who means who will come here is it about j or is it about p see read this uh, that uh, concept once again j is second to the right of p who is third to the right of k here who means obviously he is talking about p okay now this p is third to the right of k third to the right of k so p must be third to the right of k that's why so this position must be whose position k's position 
and think that k is facing towards center from k third position is whose position p is position and j is second to the right of p hence from first conclusion we are we are arranging three objects p j and k okay now we will discuss further concepts uh, next condition what is given the given next condition is see it is very clear what it is m is second to the left of o m is second to the left of o is is there any uh, what you can say arrangement of m and o we don't know about m and o but what he mentioned here m is second to the left of o who sits between p and j yes it is very nice concept who sits between p and j again here in this case also who means is talking about whom is it about m or is it about uh, uh, what you can say o so obviously it is about o because what he mentioned here m is see it is very clear m is second to the left of o who sits between p and j so here who means he is talking about o o sits between p and j then what about m it's very clear m is second to the left of o so here first left and second left so here who is sitting m is sitting therefore these are the four persons arrangement out of eight persons next we will discuss further what you can say direct or indirect conditions see next condition what he given the given next condition is um, l is not a neighbor of k or n l is not a neighbor of k or n so what does it mean it's very clear l is not sitting with k or n so here this position should not be occupied by l and this position also should not be occupied by l because l is not a neighbor of either k or n okay that's why l should not sit here l should not sit here also because if you will sit l here if you will sit l here he is neighbor of k or if l is sitting here he is also neighbor of what you can say n that's why so here this position must be whose position l's position l is not sitting uh, with k or n i hope you understood for example if i am taking l here L is neighbor of what? K. If I am taking L here, L is neighbor of what? K. But what he mentioned here, L is not the neighbor of K. L is not the neighbor of K. That's why L must be here. And what about N? You should not take N here also. Why you should not take N here? If I will take N here, N is the neighbor of what? L. Or L is the neighbor of what? N. But what he mentioned here, in the given condition, the given condition, uh, L is not the neighbor of K or N. L, L is not the neighbor of k or n that's why see this position must be whose position n's position if he n is sitting here yes l is not the neighbor of n and similarly l is not the neighbor of k now who left here j j filled okay k filled l also finished m also finished p finished next n also finished n o p therefore this is whose position q's position this is the final arrangement of the given objects fix one object with respect to that object we have to arrange remaining all the objects by taking direct or indirect conditions so now uh, based on this concept he given some questions okay now uh, we'll answer the questions for, for what he given okay questions as follows there are five different questions see uh, we'll take first question uh, what is the given first question in that who is the immediate left of l first question who is the immediate left of l so here l think that l is facing towards center who is the immediate left of l so it's very clear j is the immediate left of l right so he is facing towards center obviously j is the immediate left of l see arrangement is somewhat difficult uh, uh, what we can say answers is very easy there is no issue if any one thing is if we are misplacing any one object then all five questions will be gone okay that's why be careful and try to uh, what you can say arrange properly by taking direct and indirect conditions now second question second question what he mentioned here who is the immediate left of k who is the immediate left of k so here k is there so now who is the immediate left of k the answer is obviously q right so q is the immediate left of k think that k is facing towards the center that is about second question see third question just have a look on that 
थर्ड क्वेश्चन वाट इज थर्ड क्वेश्चन हू इज थर्ड टू द राइट ऑफ पी हू इज थर्ड टू द राइट ऑफ पी द आंसर इज एल एल इज द थर्ड टू द राइट ऑफ पी इट इज वेरी क्लियर सो नाउ फोर्थ क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर वाट इज द गिवेन फोर्थ क्वेश्चन द फोर्थ कंडीशन इज एन सिट्स इन बिटवीन होम क्या एन सिट्स इन बिटवीन होम एन इज सिटिंग इन बिटवीन होम के एंड एम द आंसर फॉर फोर्थ क्वेश्चन इज के एंड एम एंड द फाइनल क्वेश्चन सी वाट इज द गिवेन फाइनल क्वेश्चन फॉर फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन ई गिवेन ऑप्शन आलसो राइट फॉर फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन ई गिवेन ऑप्शन वाट इज द क्वेश्चन विच आफ द फॉलोइंग ग्रूप्स ऑफ पर्सन राइट विच आफ द फॉलोइंग ग्रूप्स ऑफ पर्सन हैव द फर्स्ट पर्सन ई सिटिंग इन बिटवीन अदर टू विच आफ द फॉलोइंग ग्रूप्स ऑफ पर्सन आर फर्स्ट पर्सन सिटिंग इन बिटवीन अदर टू फर्स्ट पर्सन इज सिटिंग इन बिटवीन अदर टू सो वाट इज द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इयर फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज पी जे ओ सी अब्जर्व इयर फर्स्ट पर्सन इज पी जे ओ रफली विल डिस्कस पी जे ओ इन द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन पी जे ओ हू इज फर्स्ट पर्सन पी पी इज सिटिंग इन बिटवीन जे एंड ओ पी इज सिटिंग इन बिटवीन जे एंड ओ नो वाट इज अ गिवेन कंक्लूजन विच आफ द फॉलोइंग ग्रूप्स ऑफ पर्सन फर्स्ट पर्सन सिटिंग इन बिटवीन अदर टू फर्स्ट पर्सन इज सिटिंग इन बिटवीन अदर टू वाट इज द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इयर पी जे ओ वाट डज इट मीन पी इज इट सिटिंग इन बिटवीन जे एंड ओ नो इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल हेन्स दट इज रांग वाट अबउट सेकेंड ऑप्शन सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज ओ पी जे ओ पी जे मीन वाट ओ इज इट सिटिंग इन बिटवीन पी एंड जे यस ओ इज इट इज ओ पी जे ओ इज सिटिंग इन बिटवीन पी एंड जे हेन्स द आंसर फॉर द गिवेन क्वेश्चन इज इक्वल्स टू वाट यू कैन से ओ पी जे वी कैन से आर इल सेकेंड ऑप्शन ओके आंसर इज ओ पी जे आर सेकेंड ऑप्शन यू कैन यू कैन वेरीफाई थर्ड ऑल्सो वाट इज द थर्ड ऑप्शन थर्ड ऑप्शन इज ओ पी एम ओ इज इट सिटिंग इन बिटवीन पी एंड एम नो वाट अबउट फोर्थ ऑप्शन एम पी ओ एम इज इट सिटिंग इन बिटवीन पी एंड ओ नो हेन्स द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन इज इक्वल्स टू ओ पी जे विच इज सेकेंड ऑप्शन ओके दिस इज अबउट सर्कुलर अरेजमेंट ओके सो नाउ विल डिस्कस वन मोर मॉडल रिगार्डिंग दिस सीटिंग अरेजमेंट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ई गिवेन सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन एक्सागोनल अरेजमेंट एक्सा मीन वी नो आलरे हमे सैड्स विल बीर सिक्स सैड्स विल बीर एक्सागोनल अरेजमेंट फर्स्ट टू क्वेश्चन आर बेस्ड ऑन लीनियर नेक्स्ट टू आर इज बेस्ड ऑन सर्कुलर एंड दिस वन इज बेस्ड ऑन वाट एक्सागोनल अरेजमेंट ओके विल डिस्कस एक्सागोनल वाट इज द गिवेन क्वेश्चन सिक्स फ्रेंड्स पी क्यू आर एस टी यू आर सिटिंग अराउंड एक्सागोनल टेबल राइट पी क्यू आर एस टी यू विल टेक दीज पर्सन पी क्यू आर एस टी यू टोटल हाउ मेनी फ्रेंड्स आर देर सिक्स फ्रेंड्स दे आर सिटिंग अराउंड द एक्सागोनल टेबल एंड देर इज ए कंडीशन वाट इज द गिवेन कंडीशन ईच एट वन कॉर्नर ईच एट वन कॉर्नर and facing the center of the hexagonal each at one corner and facing the center of the hexagonal first of all we will take the hexagonal okay we know already hexagonal uh, like it is a shape of benjamin ring we know already is for science students benjamin part okay so just i am drawing the hexagonal concept hexagonal diagram there are total how many sides will be there six sides will be there so think that this is hexagonal okay so One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six different sides. Are there? What he mentioned here? They are sitting on the corners. Each at corner. He mentioned that each at corner. Prati okkaru mola vadha kurchu naru naru. Each at corner. Okay. Again, he given some condition. P Q R S T U R friends. They are sitting at the corner. See the first condition. What is the first condition? Mm, the <coughs> P is talking about P, right? He is talking about P. What is P? P is second to the left of U. P is second to the left of U. P is second to the left of U. Wherever you can take. Since this is also a closed figure, even though it is not a circle, it is a closed figure. For all closed figures, you can fix object anywhere. You can fix first first object anywhere. So now, what he mentioned here, P is. Second to the left of you. For example, uh, think that here U is sitting. Think that here U is sitting. If here U is sitting, uh, who is the what you can say second person? Second person from left of you. 
<coughs> so this must be whose position p is position because p occupies what you can say second from left of u u is facing towards center okay that is very clear now uh, one more condition next condition next condition what you mentioned here q is the neighbor of r and s q is the neighbor of r and s it is very clear uh, for example if i will take q here q is it neighbor of r and s no if i will take q here will you get the neighbor of r and s you may take r or s here but what about here this place already filled so here here and here so this corner at this corner and even at this corner also here who should not sit there there q uh, should not sit because q is the neighbor of r and s q is the see whenever he mentioned the word q is the neighbor of r and s indirectly q is lies in between r and s blindly q is lies in between r and s so here here and here at these three corners q should not sit therefore q may be sitting at that position so now since q is the neighbor of r and s here you may get r and here you may get s r here you may get r or here you may get s we don't know okay we'll discuss further conditions so what is the uh, next condition what he given the next condition is t is second to the left of s t is second to the left of s okay t is second to the left of s for example think that here i am taking s yes. here i am taking s yes. i have only one place left right i have only one corner left there is no doubt this one corner must be who, who is going to sit here sit there t is going to sit there is no other option now here with r s you will get r s you will get you have to decide to decide this condition he mentioned one what you can say direct condition what is the direct condition t is a second to the left of s yes. t is second to the left of s yes. for example think that s is sitting here think that s is sitting here s is sitting here and is facing towards a center if s is sitting here what about t's position is it uh, uh, left of t or is it right of t no if r s is sitting here obviously t is uh, what you can say right of t but what he mentioned here t is a second to the left of s so t is second to the left of s s ki edama nunchi second position lo evaru undali t undali so kabatti so this position must be whose position t s position why this position is position see observe here s is facing towards center this is first left to s this is second left to s so second left to s is who is sitting t is sitting it's very clear hence that's why t is second to the left of s t is second to the left of s since s is sitting here then here who will who will sit there here r must be sit okay this is the final arrangement of the given all six friends of p q r s t and u okay so now uh, based on this concepts based on this concepts we are going to see some questions will be given we will solve the given questions so this is the final arrangement of the given six friends in a hexagonal table okay now based on this question there are four questions are available on the screen first question what is the first question who is the fourth person right who is the fourth person to the left of q that is the first question who is the fourth person to the left of q q ki edama vaipu nalugo sthanalu evaru unnaru antunnadu who is the fourth person to the left of q so this is q q is facing towards center right q is facing towards center so first left second left third left and fourth left he ask to find out the fourth left right who is fourth person to the left of q who is fourth person to the left of q obviously what is your answer p p is to the fourth person right p is to the fourth person to the left of q after arrangement uh this questions are very easy who sits in between antadu like the right of left of something okay right now question number 2 second question second question is about what we ask to find p sits in between whom p sits in between whom see observe here what is the position of p this is the position of p at this corner who sits in between uh, p therefore t and r right t and r sits in between p no uh, i once again p 
P sits in between T and R. Sorry, P sits in between T S and R. Right. So, is it S and R? No. P sits in between who? In between whom? T and R. It's not S and R. It's T and R. I repeat. P sits in between whom? Therefore, P sits in between whom? T and R. It's very clear. Now, uh, we'll focus on question number three. Third question. In third question, what is asking? It is about uh, who are the neighbors of yes. Yes. The third question is who are the neighbors of yes. See, there are two ways of asking the question. Same question. Who are the neighbors of yes? He is same as yes sits in between whom? I repeat. I repeat. Who are the who are the neighbors of yes? Who are the neighbors of yes? He is same as who sits in between. Uh, who sits? Ella S sits in between whom? So both are same. Now the question is about who are the neighbors of S. Therefore, what we can say? Q and U. Q and U are the neighbors of what you can say? Yes, you can say. Or who sits in between? Uh, Morals. S sits in between whom? Same. S sits in between whom? Same procedure. Okay. That is about the third question. So now. Final question of this arrangement. See, observe here. Final question is about what? It is about who is the second person to the right of T. Who is the second person to the right of T? So your T is there. Who is the second person to the right of T? T is facing towards center. So first right and second right. Therefore, S is the second to the right of what you can say? T we can say. And in the, in this also, since it is closed figure, sometimes he mentioned the word. In clockwise, how many are there? In anti-clockwise, how many are there? So he didn't given. But for example, think that T and um, well, let's say T and R are there. T and R. In clockwise direction, how many are there in between T and R? In clockwise, in clockwise direction, how many are there in between T and R? What you can say? Only one person is there in between T and R. If you take anti-clockwise direction, how many are there in between T and R? What you can say? U, S, Q, and R. Okay. See questions may be in this way, but uh, the thing is arrangement is very important. So after final arrangement, questions may be anyhow you are going to solve. That is no issue with that. Okay, these are the uh, this is about this what is the hexagonal arrangement. First one is about uh, linear, and uh, second model is about circular, and third model is about what you can say hexagonal arrangement. So these are the different concepts what you have seen in uh, what you can say seating arrangement. Seating arrangement or sitting arrangement both are same. To solve the questions of this seating arrangement, you need to have only three four points, mainly three four points. As I told you at starting of the uh, class, there are mainly three types of arrangement. One is linear arrangement, and the next one is what here circular arrangement, and the third one is miscellaneous arrangement. Uh, in circular arrangement. Uh, there is a main difference circular circular arrangement is equal to hexagonal octagonal or something what you can say different arrangements okay so now what we what i told here linear arrangement okay and second one is circular arrangement i already told you in the starting of the session circular arrangement and the next one is miscellaneous arrangement or simply we can say polygonal arrangement bahubuja kalala marcharamonam the main difference between these two is only one difference in linear arrangement for example one line is there so let's say here a b c d and e for example five persons are sitting a b c d e what you can say they are there in lean uh, what you can say this kind of arrangement is called linear arrangement in this linear arrangement uh, first person we can decide last person we can decide or even middle person or the position of b and c also we can say perfectly but if it is the case of circular arrangement if you will arrange all these 1 2 3 4 5 a b c d e if i will arrange all these five if i will arrange all these five there is no starting point there is no ending point so one any one object you can consider as starting point and what does it mean you have to fix any one object first with respect to that object we have to arrange the remaining all the objects okay so then uh, that is the main part, main case and in, in this case sometimes what you know in the question unless unless he mean un, until unless he mentioned uh, think that 
all the objects are facing only towards the center what is special ga ala layer one out matrame theeskomu so in remaining all the cases ichina ivakapoyina the concept is very clear okay we will think that all the objects or all the persons are facing towards the center only that is one object okay then after this arrangement uh, now what we can say uh, to arrange all these objects again he will give some conditions conditions are again two types one is direct condition next one is indirect condition remember first you have to fix the direct conditions only you have to consider only direct conditions by considering this direct conditions you have to fix the given objects after this arrangement of direct conditions you should take the indirect conditions also by using objects we have to fix the remaining indirect uh, remaining objects can be fixed by using indirect conditions okay so like this you have to fix okay practice more number of bits see sometimes line also you'll say there are two lines in one line some students are there they are uh, talking to each other face to face or they are standing face to face one is towards south another is towards north so diagonal arrangement some different different arrangements will be there see if it is a case of six in circular i need to say one uh, one more thing here eight means i told you like uh, directions concept okay if six is there for our convenient uh, simply we can say in this way eight means eight directions so six means we can draw in this way so that we can exactly take who is opposite to each other we can say sometimes who is opposite to p or who is opposite to s or who is opposite to z sometimes you will say like this only so these are the main different concepts uh, regarding seating arrangement concepts okay right we will discuss next